I walked up here to the lookout to just see what uh see what I could see. And yeah, there's no white caps right now, but it's still early. It's, it's I think it's about nine o'clock, nine thirty. But it looks like it could be a good day, possibly. Well, one thing about it, it's a beautiful view. And I do enjoy it. But, yeah, I, maybe coming up here, I can learn to read the wind. Read the waves. You see the waves? You see how they're breaking at the reef? That's That gives you a clue of, you know, how strong the wind is. Way out there in the blue, you can see white caps. But not after you get up here past the reef so the wind's not very strong right now i wish we had a weather station and a camera up on this hill that was like a webcam that could keep up with this and um, <clears throat> be able to give a chance to you know look it up on a computer and you could see see people kiting you can see you know it's just the, if you're in the business of doing business, it would just make sense. Even the Royalton ought to have a camera facing this way and ought to have a wind station so they can get accurate wind readings and, and keep up with things. But I don't know. I notice other kite spots, that's, they do that and they, they really attract a lot of viewers. You know, if nothing else, just come and look at the webcam. One example is uh, in Puerto Rico, Cabaret, Cabarete, is, which I've never been there, but uh, there's a webcam that's on the beach. It's not a real good view, but at least it is, so you can kind of see if people are kiting. All right, well, this is the beginning of Friday. Yeah. <laughs> the, sun, the sun did come out after the clouds for the last few days. All right. Oh, close up look at this. Somebody built this without doing the right paperwork. And they got called to the doctor about it. The doctor said, nope, you gotta stop. <laughs>